let us do the problems on initial conditions the procedures for evaluating initial conditions there are four steps are there first you have to draw the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus that means before switching action takes place before switching action takes place you have to write the equivalent ne uh, equivalent network at t is equal to 0 minus you have to write equivalent circuit that is be just uh, before switching action takes place you have to write that means for t is equal to minus infinity to t is equal to 0 minus so i will write here um, for t greater uh, for t is equal to minus infinity to t is equal to 0 minus so i told no suppose this is t is equal to 0 plus t is equal to 0 plus at this point at t is equal to 0 plus switching is takes place so this is t is equal to minus infinity to t is equal to 0 minus so this period is called as for t is equal to minus infinity to t is equal to 0 minus that is before switching just after switching is 0 plus and uh, after that this is t greater than 0 and finally t is equal to infinity steady state is reached here steady state is reached this is just after switching this period is before switching so these three points so first step is you have to write for t is equal to 0 minus that is before switching that is from t is equal to minus infinity to t 0 minus you have to write equivalent circuit and you have to find what is the initial current before switching any current is flowing or any voltage in the capacitor you have to find out so that is il of 0 minus if there is a inductor and vc of 0 minus for a capacitor you have to find initial voltage for inductor you have to find initial current if there is a you have to find out next just you have to draw the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 plus for t is equal to 0 plus you have to write equivalent circuit 0 plus means just after switching immediately after switching so you have to replace all the inductors with open circuit replace all the inductors with open circuit if there is no initial current or you have to replace with current source if there is a initial current in the inductor and replace all the capacitor by short circuit if there is no initial voltage or you can replace with voltage source if there is a initial voltage in the capacitor and resistors kept as it is resistors behaves as resistors only it will not acts like a open or short resistors are not storage elements okay only inductor and capacitor as storage elements so they will change third step initial voltages and currents in the networks are determined from the equivalent circuit for t greater uh, t is equal to 0 plus and initial conditions di by dt at 0 plus 0 plus means what t is equal to 0 plus means what just after switching what is di by dt okay that is changes in current with respect to time change in voltage with respect to time at for t is equal at t is equal to 0 just after switching what is dv by dt just after switching what is d square i by dt square just after switching d square v by dt square you have to determine by writing integral differential equation and that you have to write for a circuit by considering t greater than 0 that means just after switching takes place uh, don't write it for t is equal to 0 plus uh, in a equivalent circuit for t greater than 0 means normal circuit whatever original circuit is enough for that you write integral differential equation and we can easily find out these values initial condition values so let us uh, uh, find a first problem okay okay let us example this is uh, gen in general let us uh, write later uh, uh, what are the values so this let me before that uh, let me solve uh, this problem only for the given circuit here in the, this is problem is also same only here instead of r and l r value is not given l value is given this problem is solved with a uh, variable r and uh, l here no values are given and uh, this problem instead of r and uh, l we are using r value as 10 ohm and uh, l value as 1 in so let us this is a very very important problem 
if you understand first problem you can solve any problem okay let us do first in the given cert network the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 the switch at t is equal to 0 the switch is closed okay with zero current in the inductor that means there is no initial current in the inductor there is no initial current is flowing in the inductor find di by dt and d square by dt t is equal to 0 plus t is equal to 0 print means just after switching the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 so it means before switch is open when the before switch is open i of t I, at t is equal to 0 minus at t is equal to 0 means the switch is open because of open circuit no current is flowing in this and no current is flowing in the circuit means no initial current in the inductor no current is also flowing in the ohm resistor so i of 0 minus is i of 0 minus is 0 okay i of 0 minus is 0 okay because switch is closed at t is equal to 0 plus just after switching before switching switch is open when switch is open no current is flowing so i of 0 minus is 0 and initial current in the inductor is also 0 at t is equal to 0 plus just after switching just after switching at t is equal to 0 plus just after switching see here the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 plus just after switching how the circuit behaves now this acts as open inductor acts as open so we can see the table here okay elements with initial condition resistance remains r only no changes inductor just after switching okay t is equal to 0 plus it acts as open circuit capacitor just after switching acts as short circuit okay an inductor if the initial current is there that you have to replace with induct uh, some initial current uh, source value current source with uh, initial value of i naught and if capacitor is already cho charged with v naught and instead of short circuit you have to write a voltage uh, source of v naught and short circuit okay so this is the initial conditions now here just after t is equal to 0 plus the inductor acts as open circuit so again it is open circuit now circuit is open circuit now that i of t in general i of t you know t value you put t is equal to 0 plus 0 plus means just after switching again the circuit is open so current is zero so i of zero plus is zero okay now for t greater than zero for t greater than zero you have to write kvl for t greater than zero you have to write integral differential equation so integral differential equation uh, integral will come uh, for a current for series circuit always they will ask uh, di by dt d square i by dt okay for a uh, parallel circuit they will ask uh, dv by dt d square v by dt for series circuit di by dt d square i by dt okay so now uh, for t greater than zero if i write kvl okay again i told no you can follow any put uh, uh, any this one okay this is you can consider minus 100 you can consider this as a plus plus 10 i plus 1 in l into di by dt this is voltage value okay this is first initially i got minus so minus 100 plus r into i of t r value is 10 10 into i of t plus l into di by dt so remember i told you to remember this table I told you to remember this table so what we are writing for a series circuit we are writing kvl you have to remember this for series circuit you have to remember this for parallel circuit you should remember current values so voltage value of capacitor is r into i of t voltage of inductor is given by l into di by dt voltage of capacitor is 1 by c integral of i of t dt okay now it is written minus 100 plus r into i plus l into di by dt so now uh, since already di by dt is there already voltage across inductor is l into di by dt 
already di by dt term is there already di by dt term is there so no need to differentiate once again so if you substitute i of t this one you can write to 10 into i of t so better you write here okay 100 plus 10 i of t plus 1 into l into di by dt this is i of t is equal to 0 put t is equal to t is equal to 0 plus put t is equal to at t is equal to 0 plus what happens here you write 0 plus di by dt 0 plus is equal to this 100 minus 100 if you bring it to right side plus 100 and this plus becomes minus this plus becomes minus then this is i of i of t no is 0 plus at t is equal to 0 plus okay here you write t only later you can write at t is equal to 0 plus this is uh, di by dt 0 plus is 100 into minus 10 into i of 0 plus okay i of 10 this i of 0 plus is found out by the previous i of 0 plus is 0 so 100 minus 10 into 0 this is 0 so di by dt at 0 plus is 100 this is correct now di by dt is over so what are the things we have to calculate we have to find out i of 0 plus di by dt at 0 plus d square i by dt square at 0 plus so we already calculated i of 0 plus is over di by dt 0 plus is over i want to find d i d square i by dt square so this equation equation number 2 or equation number 1 only okay equation number 1 or 2 any one you can differentiate once again okay already we have this equation now you can differentiate this or you can differentiate this so anything now if i differentiate this once again d square i by dt square differentiation of 100 differentiation of 100 is constant differentiation of constant is 0 okay we will get d square i by dt square differentiation of 100 is 0 minus 10 i of, I of t is there so if you differentiate we will get i of t okay now again at t is equal to 0 plus you put at t is equal to 0 plus what happens d square i by dt square at t is equal to 0 plus is equal to minus 10 di by dt 0 plus di by dt 0 plus just we get the value here what is the value of that minus it is 100 di by dt 0 plus so that's why in the first step if you make any mistake it will give you a wrong answer for all the remaining steps because you have to substitute the whole value in the next uh, equations so don't make any mistake in the initial so di by dt value is 100 amperes per second now why it is amperes per second it is di by dt current by time so unit of current is ampere uh, unit of time is seconds ampere per second so minus 10 di by dt value is 100 so minus 10 into 100 is minus 1000 and unit of current is amp and unit of dt square unit of dt square unit of dt square is second square so don't write ampere square so it is delta i okay d square i don't write ampere square just ampere per second square this much ampere per second square so it is very easy so same problem is solved here also but instead of r value 10 and l is equal to 1 instead of r is equal to 100 uh, l is equal to 1 so uh, we are using simply uh, r and l are kept as it is we are not substituted uh, r and l value so here you can see di by dt how much we got v by l so v value is how much in the problem v value in the given problem it is 100 so 100 by l 100 by 1 okay 100 by 1 is 100 amps per second and d square i by dt is v r v r by l so v is 100 r is 10 by l l value is 1 square 100 into 10 is 1000 by 1 minus 1000 ampere per second square so same 
problem okay same problem only this problem and that is both are same here we used uh, r value as 10 l value as 1 so this is general equation for any circuit containing r and l for any circuit containing r and l what is the expression for uh, di by dt is v by l ampere per second square d square by dt square is minus vr by l square ampere per second square so you can do this and substitute the value of uh, v r v l and r or you can uh, do this one only so this is here initial condition of uh, at uh, i l of 0 minus is 0 okay and i l of just after switching also current is 0 at t when the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 inductor acts as open circuit so i of 0 plus is 0 okay i of 0 plus is 0 <coughs> right kvl for this v is equal to applied voltage is equal to r into i of t plus l into di by dt at t is equal to 0 plus okay v is into r into i of t plus l di by dt you have to uh, for voltage of first capacitor already di by dt term is there already di by dt term is there so at t is equal to 0 plus just substitute you will get uh, di by dt at 0 plus value and to get di by d square by dt square once again you have to differentiate either this equation or you can differentiate this equation any one equation you can differentiate you will get uh, ldi by dt becomes d square by dt square so substitute and you can get expression for d square by dt square and this is the general expression di by dt is v by l ampere per second square d square by dt square is minus vr by l root square normally you can expect this uh, they will give directly the values so you can follow this method <coughs> thank you